Right, welcome to this update video uh, for my Primary Space Marines project. Big announcement really for the channel. I've chosen the chapter that I'm going to go after. I've been looking at dozens, dozens of different chapters. I wanted to do something different uh, for Primary Space Marines. I plan to do a separate army for them, 2,000 points. But then, as I paint them up, try and have them as like a supporting uh, units and reinforcements for other factions out there, and then gradually build them up to be their own standalone army. So, I've been painting up models from the Dark Imperium set, and I have to say the, the primary space marines are beautiful models. A lot of people I've talked to that have them, have been collecting them, say how nice they are, they really are good, and I've enjoyed painting some, and you're going to see them uh, here in this video. At, at this stage, I've, um, I've got a pretty good idea of what kind of army I'm going to go for, um, but I have settled on the chapter itself. Um, a video, an update, previous update video I did, a lot of people tried guessing, I don't think anyone got it right, <laughs> so. Um, but we'll I'll sort of talk about uh, what uh, chapter I've gone for, why, and then you'll sort of see how they've come out um, actually painted up. And there's a lot to look forward to with them, you know, painting tutorials, uh, announcements, especially on the Plus channel with army development, um, sort of uh, showcase tactical videos as well. You'll see some updates for them over there on the Plus channel. So. Uh, here they are painted for ultramarines, they look really nice. James has ultramarines. Uh, I have blood angels, there's not really room in the army to try and introduce primary space marines. I didn't want to introduce primary space marines into my uh, other space marine armies and then sort of elbow out and kick out the units that have been in there. So um, I thought, well, maybe the best idea is to go for a standalone primary army. I uh, already had uh, James has ultramarines. And then I thought, well, Blood Angels, didn't really want to go for anything that was red, because already had Blood Angels. Then Imperial Fists is yellow, so already covered that. And then the other option was, well, Salamanders, maybe. But I didn't really like the look of them too much. They're sort of stuck. Well, that's all the main colours used up, so what do, you, what do I do? So, I'll just have a look at the fluff here. So there they are painted uh, for Ultramarines, which I, I think they look really nice. I'll tell you the ones that I liked here because the book is full of options. There's your configurations for companies and so on uh, for the ultramarines. So uh, formulators, they're really nice, but again, it's just painting a lot of blue stuff and it's, James already has the ultramarines. Genesis chapter, okay, but again, it's by angels. Black consoles, yes, black is okay, um, but sort of got the deaf company anyway. Uh, and just not quite striking enough. I wanted something a bit more iconic. Nova Marines okay, but again, a bit too blue. Praetors of Orpheus what was a possibility. Silver Skulls was an option. Sides of the Emperor wasn't too keen on the design. White Skulls, not really. Not to be honest, not really too keen on the colour scheme for them. Storm Lords were quite nice, but again, too red. Solar Hawks too yellow. Uh, destroyers, possibly storm reapers. Just none of them really. So Imperial fists are nice, but I didn't want to introduce primaries into my imperial fists. I like, I like the units that have the army already. I wanted to do the army justice. Um, so then, hammers of dawn, mm, invaders just wasn't quite struggling. I was convinced there was a better colour scheme to choose. Crimson fists, lovely colour scheme, but just not quite enough impact with the colour scheme but not nice as they are. Black Templars was a serious consideration. Um, a serious consideration because of that picture there. I'm going to zoom in here. It's, it's this one here just with the all of the icons added on. The sword there, these icons, purity seals just look really good and I thought oh, that looks really nice. And then just just didn't wasn't quite enough. Didn't go for those in the end. So they were a close option. Then the salamanders was an idea. Didn't quite go for them in the end. There was was an idea to do them, but didn't go for those. Raven guard was a nice idea, but just too black really. Revilers was an option. I like grey. Grey is a nice colour. 
and it's a color for a, a nice color for a quicker color scheme and you can do some nice chipping effects and weathering and so on on gray so i do like gray uh knights of the raven rift stalkers just all not quite the impact just didn't really like some of these designs iron hands maybe but just maybe too too much black for them brazen claws a bit too gaudy a design just I didn't think it looked quite nice. Well, it looks more of a sensible kind of color scheme. Iron Lords, maybe, but it's a bit too dull. Sons of Medusa was an option, but a bit too bright. Not, not sort of menacing enough, I didn't think. Red Talons, too red. Uh, then here, <laughs> I really tried to choose one of these, but um, the Blood Ravens was nice. Would have gone for that, but it's too similar to the Blood Angels. Death Spectres look quite cool. But again, too black. Exorcist, too red, too red. Mentors, it was a nice option. I thought the wire would look quite nice, all weathered up, some brown effects and chipping and so on. Some dust around the feet. Um, I wanted to go for a faction, or the effect on this chapter, that was a nice weathered a look, weathered look. They've been on campaign, lots of like sort of chipping, um, and they've been, you know, a lot of battles taking place with them. So just onto the regular units here. So, very really frustrated really looking through the book. I had sort of an idea before the new codex came out, couldn't find it in the book when it arrived. Um, so the chapter I've gone for, there's no example I can unturn to here, but you can go on Google and type in um, Red Scorpions. Forge World uh, do Red Scorpions, regular Space Marines, nice sculpts for them. Uh, but if you type in Red Scorpions, it's a nice colour scheme. So I'm going to zoom in a second and you're going to get to see some of the primaries, regular primaries intercessor marines I've painted up for red scorpions. I've done my own slight tweak and my own take on them um, and it's inspiration from uh, paint schemes that people have done on the internet. I was inspired by different things I saw. Um, so that's just different things, different places, pulled it together. Didn't want to corrupt the uh, red scorpions colour scheme too much. Um, it is pretty classic sort of red scorpions. Um, and then but my own sort of take on it, just a few enhancements that I thought make it look a bit better. This is, remember, this is the standard unit here, so I think these look nice. Hopefully the other units look really nice painted up in this colour scheme. If you want to get an idea uh, of what they look like, just go on Google, Red Scorpions uh, chapter, or Red Scorpion Space Marines, and look at the images, and you get an idea of the kind of colour scheme and options, and how the vehicles and so on can be painted up. There is yellow in it, but I've tweaked it a little bit to make it different from the, the bright yellow that you see on the Imperial Fists. Without further ado, I'm going to zoom in here and you can take a look. So, here he is. I, I'm really excited about this. I stayed up and just and late one night and just painted one of these all the way through and then was just thinking of all the different uh, things I wanted to include on him. Uh, and then, you know, not knowing how he'd come out and then this was the result and I was pretty happy with it. So, just to mention, uh, a, a bare shoulder pad here. Forge well do the transfer sheet for red scorpions. Um, I love the symbol for them. Uh, it's red and white. I think it'll look really nice on here. Just introduce a real nice icon on the side there. So I'm waiting for those in the post. That's all prepped and ready uh, for that to arrive. But there he is. So uh, a nice weathered grey. You'll see the feet here nicely weathered. And I've gone for the brown basing that's uh, seen on my uh, Harlequins. There's a basing tutorial on the regular channel if you like this colour scheme here and the way this basing has been done. And the skulls as well I talk about on the video. Then check out the desert basing tutorial including this nice static grass there as well. So it's a desert kind of wasteland that they're fighting across. And again, you can see the, the washed out and grubby effect here around the feet. I really wanted that effect. Gray is a brilliant color to do that on. Uh, and then the chipping effect goes really nicely on the gray as well. There is the uh, third, that's the third squad. I think that the way it's marked. If you look at the different pictures on the internet of the red scorpions, you'll see a a, a line coming across diagonally on the, on the uh, knee pad and then the squad number I believe goes there so that's third squad just there. Tactical marking just here that's the transfer that's taken from the Dark Imperium box set from the Ultramarines uh, transfers. See the pistols and uh, ammunition and equipment marked just there. Now uh, and chipping effect across the model not too much uh, but it perfectly goes on to the grey. So really happy with the grey. The final grey colour, just for reference, is Dawnstone. For that. Really happy with the uh, assault or bolt rifle. Beautiful weapon. Looks really good. 
uh, a couple of little things you see the the color going across the top of the helmet I wanted something on there just to pick that out the trim of the yellow on the uh, shoulder pad it's nowhere near the Imperial Fists yellow uh, I wanted something toned down and not as bright and didn't want people saying oh look it's just the same yellow for the Imperial Fists I wanted something yellow but, but a significantly different shade uh, to what's used so that is, I'll just get the it's uh, this one here it's Avalon Sunset so it's light yellow but it's kind of a, a more pastel kind of browner version of it. And you can mix it with white to lighten it up when you do the highlights and the chipping lifts it a little bit as well uh, but I think it's a lovely combination to go with the grey. It's sort of a sensible yellow to go with the grey colour just there. Then uh, also you see on the face there I've enhanced the mask there so I've done the eyebrow uh, and then the, the, the front of the face, the, nose, the bit that covers the nose and the mouth uh, in a brighter colour. It's not full on white, it's a very light version of the Dawnstone, just mixed with white, just picking that out. I love that that visor and that look. Didn't want to paint the whole head that way, but just that part. The eyes drawn to that area of the model, and you've got the menacing red, uh, red scorpion eyes just picked out there as well. So there is some red in the model, and then you'll see it also uh, with the icon and the shoulder pad to finish that off. There he is. I've done a couple more, uh, just regular. I haven't done any sergeants or anything yet. There's another one there. You get an idea of what they look like side by side. And in this one here as well. So I'm really excited about this project. Um, and I hope to do a small patrol first, start using them in games on both the channels, and, and then just build it up from there and just enjoy the, the whole experience. I want it to be a, like a, a showcase item. I want a nice spread. If you saw the update video on the new kits, I've got, got a nice spread of some of the new units coming out. Uh, it's, it's not going to be ultra competitive or spammy army but hopefully competitive enough but nice spread of the units just a real showcase there so uh, the, the plan then for these uh, is to get to a patrol level I hope to do a painting tutorial for them probably do a painting tutorial for one of these here so if you like the look of this and you love red scorpions it's, it's quite a popular uh, chapter out there when I looked it up a lot of people like them um, and you want something to go for something different um, it's always fun painting a new uh, Space Marines chapter, something away from the standard uh, sort of four or five that are out there. Um, then I'll do a painting tutorial and you can follow along step by step uh, how to paint uh, uh, Primaris Marines for Red Scorpions. And then to this level I'll show you exactly how to reach this standard of painting from start to finish. If you like the, ba the basing for these, uh, the, the tutorial is already up and running on the regular channel there. Uh, here so you, you can check that out just on there, from, again from start to finish, that exact result that you see there uh, I show you in that video. Then uh, on the, the Plus channel uh, you'll see Advanced Tacticus to sort of zone in on specific units for the primary Space Marines. It'll be a showcase, each of those will deal with a separate unit, each of them will be a showcase video so you get to zoom in like we're doing here on the different units as they come out so it'll be a very helpful painting reference for you. Uh, and then also we'll talk tactics and do some scenarios and show you how to use the actual units in games as well. And then also on the plus channel you can keep a look out for the army development video and that's where you'll see the proposed army list uh, for the primary space marines and then uh, what subscribers can do on the plus channel is leave their own comments and feedback and then help make changes and improvements uh, to the list and have some actual, some actual influence on the final army that uh, comes out. So you get all of that access there on the Plus channel. Uh, and then, I'm, I'm not sure how it's going to happen, but they, they, you may well see these start to turn up in battle reports uh, after I get some of these units completed. But this, this is the very first uh, progress that's being made with these. They're a joy to paint and surprisingly quick. The tech, I've worked on a technique here just by choosing some colours uh, and some techniques that are nice and fast, uh, but hopefully nice and effective as well. So keep a look out for Primaris Space Marines. Uh, this is the first you'll see of them and hopefully we'll see more of them, more units uh, on both of the channels as well. So there it is, that's the, the first uh, appearance here of the Primaris Space Marines painted up for Red Scorpions. They're still lacking their icon here that needs to go on there but other than that they're pretty much finished. So keep a look out for the uh, proposed content then for, for both of the channels. Uh, leave your comments and feedback, what do you think about the new choice? the colour scheme, the paint job and so on uh, and then 
uh, keep a look out for uh, future appearances of the Red Scorpions. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.